This week on Rugged Expeditions, we're thinning out the warthog herds in South Africa where the pigs have proceeded to propagate to the point where the farmers are literally crying out for some swine swatters from America to come and give them a hand. I am here to do my duty, so get ready for some ham hitting the tundra and some grunters going to ground the hard way. This episode brought to you by Comrade Safaris. Live your African dream. A bunch of us were hunting in the northern part of South Africa when the guys at Comrade Safaris came to me and said, hey look, the warthogs are overrunning their farm. Would you guys like to go down there? Uh, sure. Here we go. They lined up this cosmic looking plane and off we went. Sweet home, huh? We all know the destruction wild boar do to the environment in America, and it's no different in Africa. When warthogs become overpopulated, they are utter hell to get rid of, and you've got to take them out by any means possible. Let's not confuse hunting with culling or getting rid of a problem animal. We're whacking them, we're stacking them, we're getting rid of them. We're gonna use a variety of methods, and some of them are not hunting, they're killing. So don't send me any emails, don't send me any love notes saying, hey, you know what, that wasn't fair chase. This isn't fair, we're killing pigs. That's what this show is about. Not only is there a huge overpopulation of warthogs, but there was a couple bush pigs that were giving the local guys a little hell. So we're here, might as well go ahead and help them out. Are we supposed to be sneaking around here or what? I don't know, they say, those pigs every night they come like right here. Right in the yard? Yeah. <laughs> if you look around, it doesn't look like a pig sty, so maybe. They... <laughs> so we're just gonna sit right here in the, by their front door and see what happens? That's what they say. Now you know that most of the time when they say this, nothing ever comes. They should give it a try anyway, if nothing else. Good point. The guy's right here. Let's go. Let's put some food out, perfect. <laughs> the big male. The bush pig, unlike his cousin the warthog, is much more nocturnal, a lot slyer. They're not out running around the daylight. The other thing that's different about the bush pig versus the warthog is he doesn't get big tusks. He's just got little tiny tusks. They got a long snout on them, they're hairy as hell. Kind of reminds me of some Democrat politicians. These bush pig come into the local villages, get into the garbage, start raiding their crops. You know, they're out there ratting around where they're not supposed to be causing problems. You know, the local guys are throwing rocks at them, they're trying to get rid of them, but you know, they come in in the middle of the night, what are you gonna do? Sweet was that. This pig, since we're killing pigs, has been coming out here and getting into these guys' garbage and raiding their food stock that they've got back here and everything else. So the thing just kept coming up and bugging them and harassing them. So they said, when we came by today, go, hey, hey, you gotta come here. So we came out here, we set up and just put a little bit of corn out there, some pop, they call it like porridge to just see if it would come, and they said, just sit right here, he's gonna come in here, he raids us every night, right here. So we're literally 20 feet from their doorstep, and it came right in. How awesome is this? Oh yeah. Look at these things. See, they're different than the regular warthogs. They got all this white on them, and they don't have the big, huge tusks. They just have these little tusks like this. Look at this long schnoz on it too. No warts. What a cool animal these are. And just doing the neighborhood a favor. You know, there's nothing worse than somebody coming in and making a pig himself.
The farmer is literally begging us to slam some ham, to put as many grunters on the ground as possible, and the Rugged X team is here to help. You've probably heard about the Grand Slam. You've heard about the Whitetail Slam, the Super Slam. Well, I'm one of the few guys on the face of the earth that's actually gone around and collected the, wait for it, the Ham Slam. <laughs> yep, I've killed pigs all over the world. I love killing pigs. Whether it's the Asian wild boars of Turkey, or the South Pacific pigs of New Zealand, or the Red River hogs of Central Africa, I like killing them. South American wild boar, uh, yep. Collar peccary from the US and South America, uh, dead. European wild boar, or the rare white-lipped peccary of Argentina's forests, been there, killed that. Even the holy grail of grunters, the giant forest hog of Ethiopia, has met Jay Allen once. I love killing pigs by any means, anywhere, anytime. I'm here to do my duty. What a beautiful morning. This mist over the plains just makes it incredible. If you're wondering why I look so fat today, it's because it's so cold. I have every single piece of clothing that I have in my bag on as we speak. There's nothing left in my chalet. It's freaking freezing. I should do a new African cold weather rap song. Yo, yo. Freezing my freaking honey. Oh, yeah. Whoa. The best way to warm up when you're freezing your hiney off is to start walking. Nothing like a good hike to heat up it's the old really tootsies. It's really up here in this plateau. There's all kinds of animals that have come up here to get out of the wind. It's windier than hell down below. But in these little pockets like this, it's dead calm. So these animals have come up to get out of it. There's plenty to eat in here. It's a really good spot. Grab your gun, get out for a walk. Who knows? It's called piercing boards over there. How far are they? See. He should be just up over here, I think. Take that, you swine. Oh, this one's just the right size. This is a good eating one right here now. That's what I'm talking about. Right on, got some little tusks. Little boy pig, just the one we were looking for. That'll make the farmer happy. Woohoo! That right there was a little long-range pork poking. There's a whole bunch of aardvarks out here. They come out at night and they eat all these termites from these mounds that you see. Those termites are in there squirming around inside those dirt mounds that they make. And after they've dug the holes, then the pigs get in there and they make them even bigger and that's where they live. They go down inside there. So you got these big old holes all over the place which are tough on the game animals. They're really tough driving around. You hit one of those things and you ride in the back and all of a sudden, oh, right in the teeth end of a great day just like that so that's another reason to get rid of these things i mean the last thing we need is more holes out there when you're driving around all right in our effort to eradicate the general population of pigs 
we're even shooting from the truck. We don't normally do that, but if you're gonna put a hurting on the pigs, you gotta use every method possible, so. Hold on, here we go. Dead. That one was a truck shot, and I'm happy to admit it. Ah, uh, you don't want to stand like that. You're about to become the Baron of Bacon. That little piggy ain't going to market. You gotta be careful with these tusks. These things aren't anything to mess with. Huh? Slamming some ham. Who says you can't put some red lipstick on a pig? Look at that, he has got a little going on right there. Plus it's a boy. That's what you get for wearing lipstick, huh? Yeah. That's a nice one right there. That's a good eater. The boys are gonna be happy. Young boar. Right on. Nothing like a jump shot. Jumped up out of those bushes. Thought he was deader than a doornail. Luckily he went this way instead of towards yours truly. But when he came across that opening, slamming some ham. There he is, sitting in the sunshine, looking up, thinking about how much damage he can do in the afternoon, the local economy and the crops, and all of a sudden, done. You know what I mean? Look at this one running. It's Count Tenderloin himself. He's up here somewhere, we think. This is the Grand Duke of all grunters. This little piggy is going all the way home. Good shot. Look at all this painting that this pig has done right here. That choice ammunition wore him out. Oh, there he is. <laughs> here he is, look at this, huh? Little porker, huh? Picasso, whoops. <laughs> Tiny little tusks. He's got something wrong with his leg. What the, oh yeah, look at that leg, whoa. We did him a favor. God, his, oh, his leg's broken. Huh. No wonder he was limping when he was running. Mm. Right on. All right. It's actually a little known musical trivia fact that when the Boers landed here in South Africa, and they discovered the warthog, they were able to create a brand new musical instrument and they called it the swinet. And how the swinet is played is you take a rubber band and you stretch it across a pig's behind and then you pluck it with your teeth. And the sound that that makes is the sound of the swinet. There you go, a little music trivia for all you Rugged X fans back home. All right, get this. Now we get to go up in a chopper and put a hurting on some pigs. These things have been running all over the place here. The farmers asked us to kill as many as we possibly can and what better way to do it than from a chopper. So this is gonna be not a trophy hunt. This isn't hunting, this is shooting. We're doing the farmer a favor. He's asked us to come and help him. 
He said, what are you guys doing today? Would you like to shoot some stuff from the air? And I had to think about it for a second and think, hmm, what am I doing this afternoon? A helicopter shooting? Let's see. We're in. By the time we get done with this, they're going to be calling me the Shaw of Swine. Maybe the Prince of Pork. We'll see. Can you adjust these railing heights so that I, for the short guys like me to where so my foot will fit out here or not? No. Ready? All engines go. Port patrol. Ready to take off. done some crazy stuff but hanging out of a helicopter 100 feet off the ground going 80 miles an hour strapped in with my foot on the strut I'm gonna say this qualifies right up there as the wackiest thing I've ever done in my life oh it's a whole pack of big ones you want some excitement in your life Strap yourself into a chopper, hang out the door, and hold on, because it's about to get wild. Absolutely the most fun you can have with your pants on right there. That is a blast. And to think that they want you to come and do it. Really? When can I come back? I can't get enough of it. They'll take all that meat, either use it here for all the staff or else sell it. It's, you know, good quality meat, tastes great. Everybody likes ham and bacon, sausage, pork chops, weenies, spam. I mean, there's all kinds of things you can make out of pork. 
And another thing, all you jihadists out there, do you know what you're missing when you're not eating pork? I'm telling you, right there goes a truckload of good eating. You guys should get in on it. Quit all this bombing and stuff and fighting and fussing. Start eating some pork, you'll feel a lot better about yourself.